His tax plan is a million times better than Hillary Clinton. His tax plan is something we would flourish with. Do you think it'll work better than the Bush tax plan did? Bush tax plan at the end of his presidency when it was high? I mean, yeah. Uh, personally, Bush's tax plan was not conservative. No. Donald Trump is going to actually bring a conservative tax plan into play, and it's going to work. Well, actually, the two tax plans are very similar, except for Trump just has bigger tax breaks for the wealthy. The wealthy. Yeah, trickle-down yeah. economics. Yeah. Yes, it's going to work. It's going to, you know, you want to look at Ronald Reagan, the Ronald Reagan era, it worked. I don't know why liberals are so against Reaganomics or trickle-down economics, be, being fiscally conservative. Mathematically, it's more efficient. Mathematically, it works. You look, jobs are going to leave with these high corporate tax rates. And you know, you apply high corporate tax rates with regulation. By the way, I'm not anti-regulation. I'm pro-regulation under a good fiscally conservative economy. A mixed economy, that's fine, that's good. But Hillary Clinton is gonna absolutely drive these jobs out of here. You have to understand that. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't saying good or bad. I was just saying, is it similar to what Bush did? No. How's it different from what Bush did? Because it's gonna be higher tax cuts higher tax cuts, and if you look at the end of the Bush presidency, his tax plan was not fiscally conservative. The Great Recession was a result of not low enough taxes? Partially, yeah. I mean, and among other things, yeah, that too. But Can you think of another cause? Well, you look at the gas sequel passed by Bill Clinton, you had banks that are handling loans, you know, it's tons of things. The reason I'm asking is that to people who are on the fence, if they hear you say it's going to be similar to Bush except for bigger tax breaks, they might be afraid that it... Well, it's not, and it's not going to be similar to Bush in all ways. Donald Trump is not George Bush. What would you say would be the biggest difference between between the United States under President Obama versus the United States under President Trump? Corporate tax cuts, federal tax cuts, you're going to see so much more businesses prosper. People are going to have jobs again. You know, people have this idea about Donald Trump supporters that we're all racist bigots. And it's not true, you know. And you want to talk about how we don't focus on minority communities, how we want black communities to fail. That's not true, you know. Having a low taxes will bring jobs back to the black communities. I want everybody to flourish. I want everybody to prosper. It's not going to happen with an economy like this, you know. It doesn't matter how many regulations. It doesn't matter if you raise the minimum wage up to fifteen dollars. It doesn't matter if you have pro maternity leave. If they, if you apply regulations under this economy, under these taxes. They're going to lose their jobs, and it's just going to make the situation worse. I want people to flourish. Donald Trump wasn't originally my favorite candidate. Yeah. He, well, and, what's the problem, though? What's the problem with him? Like, why wouldn't he be your favorite? Why wouldn't he be, have been my favorite? Well, for one, I knew that when he was nom nominated, there were plenty of other candidates up there that would have been successful as president and would have uh, flourished that would have been easily uh, that would have easily beat Hillary Clinton in the John election. John Kasich, I, for instance. Huh? John Kasich, for yeah, instance. Yeah, he did well with uh, Democrats. Yeah. You know, another one, Mark Rubin did well with Democrats. He still wasn't my favorite. He wasn't very fiscally conservative. But um, really, any other candidate up there would have done better with Democrats than Donald Trump. That is not to say that Donald Trump is a horrible, horrible candidate. I don't think he's a horrible candidate. But there's a few things I don't like. Uh, he doesn't, he believes that vaccines will cause autism, which obviously is not true. You know, it, <laughs> really? it, it, yeah, but you know, it's maybe he retweeted that, but he doesn't actually believe it. I mean, even if he does believe it, look, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't expect Donald Trump to be a scientist. Uh -huh. I don't him to be a, he wasn't a healthcare worker here. It's not really his scope of focus, but you know, if you really look at the bigger problems, his, his policy would be much more effective than Hillary Clinton's. That's what I believe. Yeah. Yes. Not, I don't agree with Donald Trump and everything, but at, in general. Donald Trump would be a more effective president. A lot of people who are liberals, um, a lot of people of color, a lot of women are uncomfortable with Donald Trump just because he seems to kind of be like a bully who picks on people who have less power than he does, whether they're in his employee or they're just you know minority communities or they're, or they're immigrants. And I'm wondering, is that something that you just accept because you have to, or it, you actually think there's some value in that? Well, first let me differentiate, okay? You said that he uh, he enjoys being a bully to people who are less in power than him. Is that correct? What you said? I said he appears that way. Yeah, he appears to be one. Not that he enjoys. I didn't say he enjoys it. But actually, you're right. He enjoy. He seems to enjoy well, it as well. I, not necessarily. You know, yes, he said things I don't condone. You want to look at the leak, the leak tapes from 2005. 
uh, you know, he has some things on national TV about, uh, you know, his ex-wife, obviously, and I think that's stupid, but, um, no, if you talk to people who've worked with them, there's plenty of people, you can uh, ask them, and they've, they've admitted during interviews that, you know, he's not a bad person. I don't, you know, here's the thing. I don't, I'd like to believe that Donald Trump wouldn't say what he did back in 2005 today, but he very well could, and, you know, I don't like it. But, you know, that's not the biggest focus right now. That's not what should be focused. There's so much bigger issues. I don't like it, but, you know, you can't, you can't vote based only on morality. You can't base only on um, some things they've done that you don't agree with. There's bigger things when it comes to voting. You have to vote what you think will be most effective and bring back a good America. And uh, that's that. Even though I don't agree with everything he said, I think he would still be best.